everybody. Well, here we are. We're going to talk about how to clean your electronic cigarette. Uh, more specifically, I'm going to talk about the uh, Manual 510 that I do have in my hand right here. If you're unfamiliar with electronic cigarettes, check out my website, zigzigs.com. Talk about some of the uh, different models here. Uh, uh, pretty much any three-piece and even two-piece units, uh, you're going to find something, take something away from this particular uh, video as far as uh, helping you out for cleaning your electronic cigarette. This uh, model that I do have here is a three-piece, uh, very common to a lot of the uh, ones that you have right there. You have your cartridge here. Of course, uh, we have our atomizer and we have our battery. Now, you're going to notice that residue pretty much builds up uh, right around the uh, screws that you have right here of the atomizer. That's what I'm showing you here. Uh, right in this area you do have a buildup that will happen as you have your inlets and that's where it screws up uh, another area is of course in your battery itself cartridge not too much to clean there uh, of course replace them every once in a while they do last uh, quite a long time if you're putting your own liquid in there if it's a pre-filled that you do prefer then you just throw them out as it goes on now uh, what let's say a daily thing something to do at night uh, I I'm going to tell you what I do, and I'm going to tell you what is recommended, and a lot of other people have done. Uh, what I do is uh, pretty much nothing. Uh, I'm very bad at that. I just throw my electronic cigarette down at night, and I go to bed. I wake back up, and then I use it again. And uh, my cleaning is very uh, infrequent. But that also shows how rugged these units are, or at least this uh, unit that I have here, the 510. Now, uh, first thing, of course, is you have it's a little bit of a darker residue that will appear uh, during the screws there. It's pretty easy, uh, the way to clean it. I'm going to show you, of course, uh, the more generalized way to clean that. And that is, of course, uh, every night, take this and uh, put it on a piece of paper towel. You just take like a paper towel like this, fold it up. Very important that you have a paper towel under it uh, because as uh, the residue leaks out, uh, any of the electron, uh, the e-liquid juice that you have right there, if you might have noticed, it can ruin some of the finishes of, let's say, uh, wood furniture, things of that nature, so you don't want that to happen. And I'm going to pick it up right here. You pretty much you have it set down like this and you leave it overnight, you're going to notice that there's a little bit of a puddle of residue. And that is good to do. You know, let it dry out a little bit. Uh, things that I've always seen is the atomizer that's built in here. You never want it to get too dry. But, of course, there's so much speculation on this. For me personally, I uh, always keep liquid on them. They work for me all the time, which is really good. Uh, now, let's say a little bit more in-depth cleaning. It is something that I do do. Uh, I always recommend that you use a paper towel. If you're going to use a tissue, it's a little bit too fragile, and uh, you could wind up getting a little bit of that uh, uh, the fibers stuck in the grooves for the cigarette. You don't want that to happen. Pretty simple. You know, you just turn it. And, of course, uh, I wound up with some uh, residue that is right there, and you do have that. Uh, another thing to do, of course, is to push some of the liquid through the uh, inlet holes out there. Now, there's the technical way to do it, and that would be something that, like this that you have right here. This is, of course, uh, dust off, something like that nature. And you can, uh, of course, take anything like paper towel, and as you see how I'm holding it, and then kind of spray in there. I don't get too close because I also don't want to kill the uh, atomizer, and it blows some stuff out. Now, what do I do? I just put it to my mouth, and I push out, you know, I uh, push some air on through there as I have it, and that works. Now, I'm going to point one thing out. Uh, this is for everybody to know in general. Nicotine can be absorbed through the skin. So you have to be careful when you're dealing with the residue, the liquid, and you're putting it on your skin um, that you are running a risk of absorbing nicotine through your skin and running a risk of an overdose uh, of nicotine. As rare as it may be, it is something for everybody to be aware out there, especially if you're watching a video like this. So it is just something to be safe at. So you do have that. Now, I have also seen a lot of people who have uh, used uh, ultrasound technology to clean these units, and it's something that works. A lot of them have gone on eBay, things of that nature, and they've gotten things for jewelry to clean, ultrasound jewelry. Now, for me, I'm a little bit more creative. Uh, 
I have always used the Sonic Care uh, toothbrush, something that if you are in the dental industry right now watching this video, you know how good these things are. I have no association to, to Sonic Care, everybody. All I know is I still have my teeth. I've been a smoker for 20 years and everything else, so my gosh, this thing has helped me out over the years. What's great about this is after a while, these uh, head units of these, uh, they're no longer effective for brushing your teeth, but they still do give that ultrasound uh, 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 process that you do have right there. So what I do is I'll take some of these atomizers, I'll put them in a uh, little glass of water, and then I'll turn this guy on here, and I will stick it in the water, and I will let it clean. And that is a kind of like the poor man's way. I wouldn't want to say the poor man's way is why why buy things that you don't really need. Uh, that works for my teeth great all the time. And uh, instead of going out there on eBay and getting a jewelry cleaner, uh, get one of those toothbrushes. It works really well for you. Okay, so that tells you a little bit about the atomizer. There's a lot of people who, of course, uh, will clean the atomizer religiously, even with the ultrasound technology every uh, week. What I've pretty much noticed with electronic cigarettes is once these things are done, they're done. You throw them away, you get a new one. They do last for quite a bit of time there, and I can't give you a time frame. Why I can is it's different for every user. If you only use, uh, let's say, seven cigarettes a day versus 30 or 40 cigarettes a day, your consumption and your use of a model is going to be different. Also, the amount that you drag. Uh, like I'm pointing out, this is a manual unit. You push on a button to use it. Uh, some of us will only push on that button for six seconds. Some will do it for three. Well, you're doubling the amount of time, so it's not fair for me to tell you uh, how long approximately one of these are going to last. So that is a uh, helpful way for that. Now, of course, uh, your battery, it is good to clean it. It also uh, matters as far as recharging, voltage, things of that nature. You really want to keep an eye on this and make sure that you clean it. Uh, as you can see right now, I'm sticking the uh, napkin in there, and I'm turning it a little bit. And, of course, I got a lot of stuff out right there. And uh, that is a way to do it. Now, of course, a lot of you, if you focus very closely on these after a couple of weeks of use, you're going to notice that there is a lot of uh, overbuild that's in there. Uh, what I've pretty much done is I've cleaned it that way, and then I'll take anything that's really non-metal, uh, just because this is something that does have electricity. It's DC, uh, so it's not that big of a deal, but of course, it's good to use something that's non-metallic. I'll use like... Uh, some of you might see what this is, and boy, credit cards can come in handy sometimes. Uh, this is cut out, and I will use it to run the ridge to disrupt that residue that is embedded in there. And then, of course, I'll clean it out in that manner. Uh, toothpicks will work. They're made of wood, things of that nature. But it is good, and it is wise to clean that out. So uh, that is another thing that you have there. Of course, uh, having the entire unit together... You can always uh, spray a little bit of vinegar on a uh, towel, uh, whatever that you are actually comfortable with. If you're not talking about the tip itself, uh, something as far as, uh, I don't know about Windex, I've never used that, but soap and water even on a towel and uh, rub it down. It's just good to do every once in a while. So that's one of the things to uh, note as far as these go. As far as storage overnight, like I said again, even if you lay it down, like in this position here, uh, you can run the risk of a little bit of that liquid dripping out of these little inlet holes, just a minute little amount, but it can damage the finishes of a lot of furniture. So you want to make sure to always have a paper towel uh, under your electronic cigarette. But that handles a little bit as far as uh, cleaning your electronic cigarette. I hope that this has been a useful YouTube for you all out there. And uh, that's about it for right now. Uh, see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.